As good as modern medical technology is, it can never save you from the problems caused by a lifestyle that is unhealthy. Instead of getting a modern medical fix for every problem, it is far better to live in such a way that you will hardly ever fall ill. An ounce of prevention is certainly better than a pound of cure. Here are 7 tips on how to live a long and healthy life. In addition, the same lifestyle that helps you to avoid illness also helps you to lose weight. 1. Get enough exercise. In the past people had to use their physical bodies in the course of their normal work. But today someone may get up, go to work in a car, then sit down, get up to go home in the car, and when arriving at home, sit down again for the rest of the day. In such a life there is no physical labor. This physical inactivity is one of the main reasons for a host of diseases. Sport, running, walking and other things must be added to our life if our normal work does not require us to exert ourselves physically. I too. Go to sleep when you feel sleepy. This may sound simple. But many people stay up late even when their body is telling them that it is time to sleep. Yoga and Ayurvedic doctors also say that it is better to sleep in the night and be active during the day. However, people such as students will take coffee and stimulants to study late into the night. Others develop the habit of remaining active at night and sleeping during the day. While we can do this, it eventually takes a toll on health. Alternative health doctors say that this kind of unnatural living is one of the contributing factors in the causation of cancer and other diseases. 3. Eat when you feel hungry. This is also a simple idea, but once again we often go against the messages of the body. If you eat out of habit or due to social pressure at certain time of the day, even when you have no real appetite, then you will not digest your food properly. Acidity and indigestion begin, and this contributes to the likelihood of other more complex diseases taking root. Having an appetite is actually a sign of good health, but if you have no appetite you should wait a bit and then eat. If you have no appetite even after awaiting a reasonable amount of time, then you should consult a doctor because something is wrong. 4. Fast on a regular, systematic basis. If you would ask any person to work 365 days per year without any rest, they would complain and say that they must have some rest or else they will break down. But we have never bothered to ask or to think about our digestive organs which we compel to work day after day without a rest. They cannot protest the way a person would to his boss, but they do give us signals that they cannot work non-stop. When we ignore those signals and still compel them to work, those organs break down. That is why periodic fasting is necessary. Refrain from eating for one complete day. This gives a rest to your digestive organs and also helps in the elimination of wastes from your body. Regular fasting allows a person to gain extra time for intellectual or spiritual pursuits. Fasting is not for hermits in a cave, but is a sensible practice that anyone can practice. 5. Wash with cool water before going to bed. As mentioned above, proper sleep is essential for the maintenance of health. If you wash your important motor and sensory organs, hands, arms, eyes, legs, mouth, genitals, before sleep using cool water, this will relax you and prepare you for deep sleep. 6 perform meditation on a regular basis. Your body is linked to your mind. 
Many of the diseases of this era are psychosomatic. Stress and anxiety take their toll on our physical health. Meditation is a mental exercise which, among other things, allows you to detach yourself from the worries of life. Learn a simple technique and do it regularly. 7. Get up early every day. Once again the old proverb, early to bed, early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy and wise. I don't know if it will make you wealthy, but it will certainly make you healthy. Your body needs just enough sleep, not too much and not too little.